All right, hey guys. I'm just gonna do a quick walkthrough on the Tangerine. Um, this is a it comes with a standalone application that basically communicates between the computer and the hardware. And you know, that's the mix on button, just like right here, mix on and off. It will literally turn it on and off. So if you don't want it, you can get it out of there. Um, okay, then it also has a IP accessible setup and options kind of screen, kind of similar to the bar graphs on the old computer. Um, these are the different options that you can choose when you do the toggle button on the fader. So when you hit the toggle, um, is it going to go from read to write, read to touch, absolute or trim? Um, some of this stuff doesn't apply to us, like level match, because we have an ultimation computer. But it's really just the bar graph. So if I move, you know, a fader up, it reads it. If I hit a cut, it reads it. Um, one other benefit too, just really quickly, is it has the recall, just like total recall system, just built into the tangerine. So we're not using the old school um, computer anymore. So yay. All right, then jumping over to Pro Tools. Um, so just quickly going to make a track. This, this could work in, you know, an existing or new, it doesn't matter. Um, just gonna go here, go down to the plugin, THD Labs. So there's the plugin. And auto assign, will assign it to the lowest available of fader. Since there's nothing in here, it would just do one. But since one is far from me, I'm gonna just do like 26. Easy enough, that's how we route our Pro Tools here. And then, so I'm gonna set this up to 26. Okay, so now when I hit the toggle on 26, it's gonna go from read to write because that's what we put in the settings in the IP. If we had done read to latch, it would just be, or read to touch, it would be doing read to touch instead of read to write. And that's just literally right here hitting the toggle. So nothing is in read. And then the red button is like a record light, so I know it's writing. Okay, I'm gonna put it in read. Um, and then a couple, just a tricky thing you gotta do is you gotta go to the automate of the plugin. Choose what you wanna automate. We're not gonna do the trim, we're gonna do the fader. I know that there's a way by default in the options you can just have it automate every parameter, but um, for what we do, it just it's easier to do it this way. Okay, so we have a whole track lane right here. Got to set it to touch. All right, so technically, um, when I hit start, so we see it's going. Um, I guess I should put it in right. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to put it into right. The plugin reflects that I put it into right, and now it's going. You can see that it's writing automation. And as I move the fader, the plug-in and the automation correspond. I mean, you can see the bar graph moving over there. It's all kind of going together. Oops. You know, I don't know. It's interesting. Okay, so then I can hit the space bar to stop. We'll see it go into read. It's back into read. There's my automation. Easy peasy. And let's see, I'm just gonna let it take off. So there's the fader. And then you can see that the ultimation fader is reading the, um, the automation from the Pro Tools. So you can basically do the same thing with a trim lane. You can do the same thing with the fader, with the cut. Um, and then you can, you know, do a total recall. So once you do that, I mean, you basically have the whole mix in the Pro Tools session and you're good. Um, yeah, I mean, just, just to quickly illustrate, it does work vice versa. Like I could just write something in here and just go right in here. See it read that. So there you go. Like I said, this will work in either the um, 
um, a new session or uh, an existing session, you could just throw it on whatever one channel you want to automate. Very straightforward. Let me know if there's anything you guys want me to show you in particular. Happy to make more of these. Thanks.